guys off enough sport here. Um, before I get to this tutorial guide today, I want to give you guys a heads up on our form that is just re-updated and everything. Uh, it has pretty much like only about, no, it has about six members right now and we need more guys. So can you guys go join it? It's forum.iphoneupsupport.com as you can see down at the bottom of your screen right now. Um, we will be adding more features and stuff like that and there will be some more community stuff about it. Um, right now there's only about a couple support forms, but guys can actually join it. Um, you'll come here, you'll probably, you can register right here, this will say register, and just sign up, it's easy, free, and you guys can start posting and stuff. Um, we are hiring for the forums, so if you do very well, if you start posting a lot, we'll make you a moderator. And let's get into this tour, guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a landscape home screen or springboard on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, this is a free way to get it. It is also a paid application, but I will also be showing you how to get it for free today. Um, you will need to be jailbroken, of course. And here's a pretty much a little demo of what it really is. You can literally rotate your iPhone or iPod Touch landscape, and it will turn into a landscape home screen. I'm sorry, guys, that you can't see it on my computer, but I can't rotate the application, so you pretty much get the point. It will look like this. It shrinks the icons to fit on your home screen. Um, this can be used to imitate the iPad or um, anything like that. Um, there is a couple little uh, glitches here and there, but nothing really that big. Um, the search is a little bit glitching out, like the text, it will come in sideways. So that's a little bit of a glitch, but it's really, really nice. It actually is really nice when you're watching a movie and you want to leave the movie application and you don't want to flip by going um, portrait. So first, guys, you're going to need to be jailbroken and have Cydia installed. And you guys are going to need to open up Cydia and you're going to need to add a source. Um, the source here, guys, is beyouriphone.com. The repo, be your iPhone not repo. So which that will be, uh, you do edit and then add. And you're gonna type in repo dot be your iPhone dot com. So add that source into your iPhone or iPod Touch or the APT, and you're gonna click, and it will do its little thing, refresh and everything. Um, next thing you're gonna type in on search is S B. SB row tay guys so you get well, two results one will be SB rotator and the other one will be SB rotator yeah okay so one will be from the big boss repo which is a paid application that's why it's highlighted blue and the other one will just be black and it's from the be your iPhone repo and that one will be the free one so you guys want to select the free one or the paid version depending on your preferences of purchasing it or not and you guys want to click modify and then you guys would click install. Mine just says remove or reinstall, something like that. So you guys will just install it. After you install it, you guys are going to want to go back to your home screen and you're going to respring or reboot. I recommend rebooting, but you can respring if you want. Um, usually respring and should get it, but if you just install it, nothing will happen. It will not respring. Um, so you guys will need to do that yourself to get to work. So you can literally do the SB settings way, which is sliding the top and then respringing. Or you can restart your iPhone by just by turning it off and turning it back on. So I'm just going to respring it just so guys to show you. And now, guys, I'm back after the respring, and there you have it, your landscape um, home screen. So guys, you guys can play around with this. It's pretty cool. I like it. I've played around for a while. So make sure to subscribe, guys, for more videos and join the forum as I mentioned before, because we need more um, more posters, guys. And um, make sure to check the site out, iPhoneHubSupport.com. Peace out, guys.